Hello there lovelies and welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be telling you about this giant bin of new makeup that I got while in Florida. So should we just dive right in and show you what's in here? Go grab a snack and a drink because you're probably going to be here a while. Ooh, let's see what's in this box. So the first things first we have is this beautiful palette right here. This is the new Tartlet in Bloom by Tarte and I know every beauty blogger probably already has this but I just got mine and I think it's wonderful. I've only used it a couple of times. Um, I think it smells like vanilla. Does anybody else that has this palette think so? If so, leave a comment, let me know. It definitely smells like cocoa powder and vanilla. That's just my opinion. But it has some beautiful colors, so we've got a lot of neutrals up here towards the top. Um, we've got this beautiful color right here called Firecracker that I absolutely love. And then I really like Funny Girl, which is another glittery, shimmery color right there which I just think is fantastic. And I actually have this palette on today. Um, I have Funny Girl, Flower Child, and Sweetheart. And then I have a little bit of Firecracker right down here in the corners. So if you guys would like to see a tutorial with this palette, let me know and I will show you some really fun eyeshadow looks maybe. I don't know. We can test it out together if that's what you wanna see. Um, so let's dive into the rest of this bin. It is a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna pull out, try to pull out the L'Oreal stuff first. Um, I have this eyeshadow, which is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible in Iced Latte. This is a beautiful color and it's a little broken just because it got a little beat up on the way back, but it's got a lot of um, shine to it and shimmer. So if you don't like a glitter look, it probably won't be for you. But you can use it as an eyeshadow in the inner corners of your eyes to just really, really brighten them. You could probably even get away with it as a highlighter. Ooh, look at that. Shiny face. No shine, shine. No shine, shine. So there we go. Um, Multi-purpose use as I drop the lid. Next from L'Oreal, I have these two palettes. I have the Powder Glow Illuminator Blush and Highlight in, what color are you? Golden and Ice Glaze. So these are basically the same product, but in two different colors, if my camera will focus. So this one you could actually use as more of a bronzer, um, more of in the winter time when you're really pale maybe and want to get a little bit of color back in, you could use this. Um, it's got four different colors in it so you can swirl them all together and then put it on your face or you could just use individual colors and even use it as contour and highlight if you want to. So the second one, if I can open it, is this one right here. This is more of a cool toned one. Definitely a very pretty highlight. Um, it's got blues, purples, and a white and I swirl all of them together and it leaves a beautiful finish. Look at that, that's a lot of pigment too. So we'll put that on this side. And it just gives you kind of like a white washed out highlight. Um, very brightening, especially around the eye area. I like it a lot. Um, and you can also use this one as individual colors if you wanted to, but I really enjoy this one. Then going along with those, I have Dun, 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 dun. The Liquid Glow Illuminators, also in Rose and Ice Glaze. Yeah, same colors. So this is kind of the same concept, but you just take a little tiny drop out of these, and if you guys have watched my channel for a while, then you know I absolutely love the Lumi Ice Glaze. Um, this is my first time trying the Rose, and I like it quite a bit. I think I would use it more as like an eyeshadow or almost like a um, liquid blush more than a highlight just because it is darker, but I have a feeling you could probably take both of these into a highlight and contour with the liquid glow illuminator. I should really try that and see how it would look. You just have a really bright glowy face, but I think it would look cool because they're dark enough that they would maybe contrast pretty well. So maybe I'll try that out and see how that goes. I just think it would be a fun little experiment. Moving right along, I have some L'Oreal lipsticks. These are in the exclusive collection. 
So I have the new pinks. I have the Julianne's pink, which is this color right here. Very, very soft, bubblegummy pink. And if I swatch it, you really can't see it too well because it is a very light, pale pink. So that one is Julianne's nude. Then we have Blake's pink. And I just saw Blake Lively in the movie The Shallows, which if you haven't seen it, it's amazing. Wonderful, wonderful shark movie. Uh, go check it out. And this is actually my favorite color out of the ones I got. So Blake's pink, which is this pretty kind of hot pink right there. Then we've got Dutzen's pink, which is definitely a bright Barbie pink. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but this one is more of like the bright hot pink neon, and then this one is just Barbie straight up. That's what they should have called it, Barbie pink. Then we have Lila's pink, which is a little bit darker. It's got a little bit more of a red tint to it, I would say, but still, again, very, very pretty. A very deep, rich pink color there. So there are those. Is that all for L'Oreal? Looks like it is. So we're gonna move on to Milani. Milani does not sell in Bermuda. Um, if it does, I can't find it anywhere. But as far as I know, we do not sell it. So I'm always excited to see what they come out with in this range. So I got the Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer, and I've used this just a couple of times. Love that it has the pump. Um, does get a little messy, but it is fantastic. It's really, really creamy blends in beautifully and you really do not have to put on foundation and concealer you just put on this and you're done one step makeup boom mind blown so yeah um this is the two-in-one again and this is in natural so then we have these two lipsticks um these are the just regular Milani basic lipsticks. But this one is in Berry Brandy, Brandy Berry. And it's kind of like this really dark, rich wine color. Don't know if you can see it. But it's absolutely beautiful and it's got a lot of sparkle to it. So if you want some sparkle and shine with a rich, deep burgundy color, you should definitely try this. Um, this is going to be a perfect fall color, which fall is coming up soon and it is my favorite season. So very excited about that. And then I got Dolce Carmelo, um, which is kind of this softer pink right here. And I actually noticed that when I swatched it, it looks very, very much like Max Velvet Teddy. So I have brought out Max Velvet Teddy to test and see if it actually is a dupe for it, maybe. Let's see. They are very, very similar in color right there. Wow. So not identical, but very, very close. So if you want a drugstore version of the Velvet Teddy by MAC, you can get Milani's Dolce Carmelo. Next in here, I have a Milani eyeshadow palette. Um, this is one of the smaller ones, but I got this one because I don't find a lot of shadows that have pretty purples mixed with the pink. Um, so this is a perfect Rapunzel palette for me because you guys may or may not know, I dress up as princesses for little kids' birthday parties. So there are four of the colors. We've got the darker purple, the lighter pink, um, a creamy beige white, and then the, it's almost like a burgundy maroon color right down here on the end, which is really pretty. So looking forward to using this one. Haven't used it yet, so I can't give you full details on how it actually works, but the pigment looks to be pretty good. It's not coming off my fingers, so that's a good sign. Next up, I have one of the Amore Matte Lip Creams. This is in the color Precious, and it is a beautiful, beautiful pink. And this does dry down to a matte and it stays completely matte. It ain't coming off. I actually went and washed my hands and most of the swatches all came off except the Milani ones. And I had to actually take a wipe with the my cellar water to try to get it off because it is on there for good once it's on there. Let's just put it that way. Then I have the Milani Mad About You, a more metallics. Um, I really wanted to get the metallics collection 
but it is newer and apparently everybody wanted them so this was the only color I found after going to like six stores yeah about six stores and I found one so I will put it on for you It is absolutely beautiful. It's got some sparkle and shine. Um, the only downside is it is drying, but the color, stunning, stunning. So as far as moisture goes, I have repairing in Primrose Moisture Lock Rose Hip Oil Infused Lip Treatment. And this stuff is very, very hydrating. You just put a little dab on and it just rubs some oil into your lips to keep them nice and hydrated and smooth and no chapped lips. Hooray! So, big, big fan of this. I had never heard of it. Um, haven't heard anybody talk about it. So, if anybody else has tried this, let me know your thoughts. But yeah, Moisture Locked, Moisture Lock Rip Hip Oil Infused Lip Treatment. That is a mouthful, but it works and I like it. Next in here I have the Sonia Kashuk Tool, which is a contour brush, and I do not have a contour brush. So this is my first contour brush to hopefully help make the process a lot easier, and the brushel, brushels, brussels feel very, very smooth. Um, I think it'll be good. Whee. Next in here I have my LMA black liner pencil. Those of you that have watched me, this is pretty much one of the only eyeliners that I use pencil wise because it is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Haven't found another one that has beat it yet, so there you go. Then next up in here I have the NYX colored felt tip liner in white. Um, I looked everywhere to find a white liquid liner and they pretty much just didn't exist. This is the only one I found. So if you guys can recommend a drugstore liquid liner that is white, please let me know below. I would absolutely love to find something because this one, while good, is not a lot of product and I think it's gonna run out fairly quickly. So I'd like to have something that would last a little bit longer and have more product in it. So let me know if you find anything. Next up in here, I have this roller ball, and this is not makeup, but it is a perfume that you just rub on your wrist. Smells very, very good. Don't know how that ended up in here, but it's in here. Um, this is their newest perfume. It is called Crush, um, and it smells very similar to some of their body sprays. It smells like it's got like a bit of citrus in it, I would say, but it smells fantastic. I really enjoy it. Not as much as the Winter Wonderland perfume because that is my all-time favorite from them, um, but I do definitely enjoy it. I would probably get a full bottle size of this one. Um, it's not overwhelming. It is just very sweet, so if you don't like sweet scents, you're probably not going to like it. Moving right along, we have some Revolution, Makeup Revolution. Got two palettes here. I have the Ultra Cover and Conceal palette, which has basically you can do some contour, um, some highlighter, some concealer. It's got pretty much everything you need. Then I got the Mermaids Forever eyeshadow palette, which I really, really liked. It has a lot of bright colors in it. Um, I'm very, very fond of the greens because you don't find many things that have greens like that. Look at that. Woo! some bright turquoise popping green and some blues and just a lot of really fun colors that I think I am really going to enjoy using. Next up we have the e.l.f. blush palette and this is very similar to the blush palettes um, that NARS have. So you've got a bunch of different colors in here. Very pretty pinks and then the last one is more of an orange tone. So I'm a big fan of these two. This one is a little dark pink for me. Um, might work better as an eyeshadow. And the orange, don't dig it as much, but you could probably get away with maybe using it as a bronzer if you mixed it with another color. Um, just be careful that you don't end up looking like an Oompa Loompa. Moving along to CoverGirl, I have the Roses palette. Um, this goes along with the other little one I have and it just has some really pretty pinks in there very similar to the urban decay naked palettes 
so it's got a lot of the same colors in there and good pigment so far and then I have the Katie Cat by Katy Perry lipstick in black just because Halloween and fall is coming up people it's actually in Perry Panther but it's a black lipstick gonna be perfect for Halloween oh yeah okay we have reached the last leg of our journey we have Maybelline um, you guys probably heard me talking about how I wanted to get the vivid bold lipsticks and I found four of them so we did quite well I ended up getting rebel pink which is a beautiful color right there mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. very happy about that more of a darker rose pink then I got the wicked white so I can use that to lighten lipsticks or define my lipstick by putting it in the center and making the middle lip look a little lighter you can do all kinds of different things with this so i was really happy i found that looked everywhere and couldn't find it then i found the sapphire siren which is this dark dark blue up here it's got a little bit of a purple tint to it this is the one that when i first saw the collection come out i originally really wanted um I don't know how well it's going to hold up. I only put it on once, but I feel like it's a little bit patchy, just kind of right off the bat. So we'll see how that ends up doing. And then the last color is a Midnight Merlot, which is a very, very dark red, almost a brown color. Um, and it reminds me very much of the 90s grunge trend that is currently happening so you can always try that out and let me know your thoughts but if you're looking for a 90s lipstick i'd say that's your best bet is the midnight merlot and the last item i have is the shine shot prismatic by maybelline this is a lip gloss it's got a lot of sparkle in it and you add it to your lipstick you can wear it on on its own i suppose but i like to add it and you get a lot lot of shine and it's got a little bit of glitter in it to just make everything pop um very very moisturizing very hydrating and it's my favorite thing i hope they don't stop selling this because i will continue to definitely for sure be getting more of these this just makes any lip look fantastic put some over the top and you are boom red carpet ready every makeup artist should be using this seriously it's phenomenal I can't say enough good things about this. Out of everything I got, favorite purchase right here and second favorite right here. So these are the top two that I would recommend if you're looking to go out and get something. Um, Shine Shot, Tarte in Bloom. Hope you guys have enjoyed seeing this massive makeup haul. I'm sorry it was so long. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and join me here on my channel. I would love to read all of your comments and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!